Hello folks, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel. Okay, so this is kind of saying it is like an April Fool's joke out of a car magazine, a late April Fool's joke. It seems to be like car and drivers magazines late April Fool's joke and I'm gonna show you why. Well, if you have reading in your screen and something like that, this is like a car and driver magazine ad made for an April issue. And this is what it be. What if they are bringing back Pontiac? Pontiac is back, right? So what makes so difference if one car has been being made to say this, all right? So... If just on, on the movie of a Ford product, that's one of my favorite car brands, were to introduce the Taurus, I mean, Robocop made the Taurus famous, right? So another movie that should have been brought back to life, if the bringing, bringing back the brand, they was, they was just taking skish at Universal looking at that ad. If they looking at that ad, it would be just unbelievable to say, what does GM and their car? So I don't know if they're gonna bring back the Caprice or something like that. Probably some Korean built Caprices used for police work would be have been used all right so i mean uh, not just to say in chevrolet but talking about pontiac oh well <laughs> i mean to say that their john goodman would be driving a police car but then put it put it that way that way it would be all about a movie and it would be like this if they would like remake uh remake pontiac or I mean bring back the Pontiac brand, the first thing to do is to bring it back. And the only movie, what it is, is let me tell you what happened with, with the Pontiac brand. They have made an ugly ass car that what had happened to this, it had the DeLorean effect. The DeLorean effect, all right? The DeLorean effect is, do you remember the, 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 the DeLorean, all right? DMC 12, the DeLorean? The DeLorean was a car back in the in the early 1980s from 1981 to 1983 or 84 around that around that time that have been discontinued because it has going it was um, it had going doors it was you know lifted up in you know, uh, like that you know made of stainless steel and whatever the concept would be but then that car flopped and the company went out of business. So the DeLorean was be remembered as the time machine from Back to the Future. The same company that was going to make the next movie of another car. But just given it the DeLorean uh, effect, it happened with the last and the most ugliest car that Pontiac I've ever had. It was shown on Breaking Bad. It was the Aztec. The Aztec looked like an ass. All right, so it is. It is like what the heck with the Aztec? Well, now the Aztec could could compete in a beauty contest against the Cybertruck and wins Miss Universe of Cars. All right, so that's the Aztec for you. But after all, bringing back the Pontiac, it will just take. A whole new concept to remake a movie and whatever the concept I might just think of being this and I have seen some movies about British actors taking up with an American accent since who framed Roger Rabbit Bob Hoskins as Eddie Valent 
he does he just did a very well american accent but anyway who could do the who could do this i mean take that burt reynolds i mean henry cavall could be the bandit and i was you know i was thinking why would a british guy would drive a pontiac all right if they were going to return to pontiac trans am okay emma stone will be frog and and tell you about that it was the first first thing i was watching Smokey and the Bandit would be the movie to be remade. It was made in three sequels. I mean, I mean the third sequel they had the um, Pontiac with the that is going to be like the the one the Night Rider Pontiac, the Night Rider Trans Am. It wasn't you know it 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 was kind of like silly in some kind of that bad way in a good way or or, or whatever it is. I mean, just the first two movies about it. Like, put it the first movie is about bootleg and beer but nowadays everything is the, might be bootleg and beiju or chinese liquor instead of coarse beer i mean it would be the same plot but it's gonna be or it's always gonna be with uh, some uh, uh, some chinese beer brands no beer being smuggled or into the u.s or baiju or something like that all because the counter effect of sanctions with the between the US and China and putting it in a movie and just to be race swap race swapping snowman. Alright, so I mean I don't mind about about that, but but if they did it with Catwoman back in the nineteen sixties, they did it with the Little Mermaid now but why not do it with snowman all right the truck driver all right so it is the same plot all i have to do is is dealing with chinese liquor with baiju or by uh, or, or snow beer i mean alcohol a uh, chinese made alcoholic beverage that it can't be smuggled within within the u.s all right so that's the point of the plot the same thing the only difference in the 1977 movie was with coarse beer, but in this version, it would be something smuggled Chinese beer or Chinese liquor within the U.S. have been picked up somewhere. All right, so put it that with that, and and I was just thinking that bringing by, back the Trans Am. That's the only car that I was thinking of. It would be the first car from Pontiac to return. I don't know what it is, but put it put in self in that way. I mean, the only car they have left is Buick. I mean, what in the in the world leaving Buick and killing the Pontiac brand? All right, so the restructuring of General Motors or whatever it is is because it wasn't that selling that well. But in my point of view, I know it would be just have this thing of a, of shifting things around, but this time taking on Izuzu and the uh, Azuzu NPR or something like that. Well, instead of calling it Azuzu, it would be turned into Chevrolet. And then when you got when you got a an, an, another car would be uh, the storm instead of the geo storm the pontiac storm i mean it, instead of a zuzu we call gm japan i mean that's what it where it goes to sell in one region the pontiac brand plus bringing the trans am and being built in the in, in the usa i mean and becoming either either a hybrid or an electric kind of be the point of all views to say oh that's the car to bring back to bring back the the Pontiac brand that's the car it is and I will tell you for all this is like how it is when one weaker currency could have Pontiac being sold in one region of the of 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 a part of Asia and being sold here in the United States to say, hey, bring back the Pontiac brand. 
so 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 besides transforming Isuzu into GM Japan, why not bringing back the only car to have presence in a movie, the Firebird Trans Am? And you have seen the screaming chicken. I mean, the Firebird emblem. All right. I mean, in the car hood, it looks pretty cool, right? So that is a car that I was saying. Oh, this is the performance. You know, the performance brand of GM, to say the least, if they have brought it back, then it would be all just, you know, screaming high, you know, make some noise. You just make some noise and a song from Jerry Reed. I mean, um, Eastbound and Down. All right, making Eastbound and Down. All right, Jerry Reed is dead for a long time. So it would be, yeah, Garth Bruf Brooks singing it or something like that. But let me tell you, how would it be to say all this and how to bring back the the Pontiac brand? So it is an April Fool's joke. Sometimes it came in the June, the June edition of Car and Driver magazine. This would be a late April Fool's joke. It was being made in April, and then GM has nothing to do with it. All it is, what they have in mind. It is just a calling. And what else? Probably the people in, uh, at Universal was thinking, hmm, great idea. This is something I would just definitely bring back a movie if they're going to bring back the Pontiac brand. What else you could do? You know, they have the Camaro, the Chevrolet Camaro with which other car based on the Chevrolet Camaro that I think it would be cool than the Camaro, the Firebird, the Trans Am. And that's a movie and, and that's a car I was thinking, just like what Robocop did with the Taurus, why that smoking abandoned be made into the Trans Am. Alright, so I mean just bringing back the car, bringing back the brand. It's just like saying, this is April Fool's, it's a late April Fool's joke. It, it seems like, it seems like the April edition of Car and Driver putting on as a late April Fool's joke that I believe it is a late April Fool's joke. And what is the spoof about it? What is the spoof of all of this? What it means to be all an, a, a late April Fool's joke, all right? This kind of so-called late April Fool's joke done in June, it would be like saying, having Universal Studios thinking about it, having General Motors thinking about it, what would be the final guess and the final answer will be remaking the movie, remaking the movie, who is going to play the bandit, who is going to play all these uh, familiar characters, if you've seen it, is the movie is a classic, and I have seen the movie like various other times or whatever. Seen, I'm just saying, Peter Bilton and and, and a Trans Am, all right, and cops chasing, all right. So the main character of, of all this, I'm telling you, just talking about the main characters who are going to play in that movie in the remake all right so put it that way i would think a british guy should play the bandit and i would say the man who played superman henry cavall could play the bandit i would say he he could use a mustache he could just pull off a southern accent very very well and i believe he could just take it to the max and probably win an Oscar for the Smokey and the Bandit remake. Why? It would be like, this would be very interesting to see that take on Henry Cavall playing a character portrayed by Burt Reynolds. I mean, the, with the cowboy hat and the red shirt and the Trans Am. So, uh, yeah, the, just, just to bringing back the, the Pontiac brand. It would be amazing that I believe that Henry could take it to the max 
and I was saying all based on this. Probably uh, Ken Young. Ken Young. All right, yeah, this would be the st this would be the race swapping in the on snowman. All right, the race swapping of snowman. He's a truck driver, and whatever it is, I mean the only difference in the remake it would be his wife <laughs> it would be his wife i mean i'm top party man might be called cletus wang i mean ken young you know the guy from from the hangover movies who played Shao could be the snowman but the wife might be played by zhang zg or something like that but, but yeah he's just knocking just uh, Henry Cavill's character <laughs> knocking on the door, saying that, that he has something, a position for, I don't know how much, uh, $50,000 or something, or what's equivalent to $8,000 in today's money. All right, so what it is that he will tell the guy to smuggle probably Chinese beer from being smuggled into the country or Baiju or Chinese liquor being smuggled into the United States to bring in all the way at a uh, probably at a factory and at a warehouse in Texas or something like that and then w whatever it is and then there's the chasing all right so in that point in in, in the movie in the remake in the beginning of the remake you have a snowman's wife tell him to get uh, it would say some subtitles <laughs> the the woman speaking in speaking to him in chinese that says get get your lazy ass ass off that bed or something like that you know subtitle you know it's, it would be it would be uh, it would be kind of uh, kind of interesting to see to see all that be the snowman being portrayed by ken young i mean that would be, yes, the guy from The Masked Singer, the guy who played Shao in the Hangover movies could play the snowman, all right? But then, what else is? Oh, and then uh, Darwin, or, or the bandit, played, being portrayed by Henry Cavall. Henry Cavall could take up to, a, be, to have a southern accent in there with a mustache, driving a Trans Am, <laughs> when it brings it back and just saying, it, I mean, it would be uh, get in the design of the Camaro. I don't want the Camaro to be killed off. That way, it would be in harmony. And then you got the Tran, the Firebird Trans Am in there, being built in, in so in Michigan, right? But just for put it at least. In, 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 and you, you, you know, a British guy driving a Trans Am, but Henry Cavall, he might take it out in a Southern accent. He might just portray Burt Reynolds' character, and probably he might even mop the floor on Burt Reynolds playing the bandit. And how about this? What about Frog, all right? Frog or Carrie. Okay, that would be, I would just take it, not Megan Fox, but Emma Stone, all right? Emma Stone could take the pop uh the plot portraying the character that sally field has done i mean i mean seeing sally fields was very beautiful back in the in the day when they made that film the original film the base of the basis of the film it was smuggling coarse beer but the but now the plot is smuggling chinese snow beer or or biju Chinese liquor into the country and and that's just uh, uh, talking the the expect of talking to going against the uh the country uh, being contradictions of going speaking against the uh China, uh I mean I mean of of uh, the tariffs and the the tariffs and the sanctions on certain Chinese goods, all right? So, I mean, it would be interesting. It would be very interesting about, about all this. And that's just having the movie studios about this. 
just bringing back the, the Pontiac brand and, and all that stuff. But then I would say this, John Goodman. <laughs> I mean, John Goodman could play Jackie Gleason's character. I mean, John Goodman could play um, Buford T. Justice. I mean, Jan, I mean, John Goodman. All right? I, mean, I mean, John Goodman is a great actor who could portray that guy. And... And I don't know who's going to portray his son, all right? So, um, Big Anus and Little Anus would be, uh, let's see who would portray, maybe Dor uh, uh, Dorkin, or who knows how how it's going to be. A, I don't know if they're going to race swap them or not, but put it that way, just the snowman will be race swap. It will be, paid, be played by Ken Jeong, and, and, and say Ken Jeong, who, who is the Shao... On the Hangover movies, yeah, remember the character Shao, right? So, as he, he might just say, oh, my wife sometimes a pain in the ass, but I, <laughs> he says, so my wife sometimes will be a pain in the ass, but I love her or something like that. But you just put it that way and, and seeing that, I mean, just the, just the advertisement, you have seen everything. If I will just believe if one iconic car to be this to bring back the Pontiac brand, ever since they say that everything have looked as Aztecs, yes, it, it, I believe it looks like Aztecs. And I mean, I mean, that's what the Aztec would be winning the Miss Universe of Cars, competing against the Cybertruck. All right, you know, I mean, this is what it is, but in. All of suddenly that that this spoof advertisement back of the magazine or car and drivers late April Fool's joke could lead into something to bringing back the the Pontiac brand and do some structural changes in all of its glory of a well-known established brand that back then it used to be very known the car that brought us night rider yeah kit the talking car i mean i don't know if would if would it be sold in germany <laughs> maybe maybe it might happen because of uh michael knight you know being portrayed by david hasselhoff but most likely, it would be more like uh, an, an ease to saying uh, turning a Zuzu into a Zuzu a cargo vans into Chevrolet and having this kind of all this um, hassle of turning a Zuzu being called GM Japan and and all this stuff. It would be just taking up to a little bit of a well of of a of a devalued Japanese yen and one brand to say the con to contradict Buick with Pontiac. I mean, Buick is sell very well in China. Pontiac would be the last thing to sell in Japan if you could turn a, a, a Zuzu into into GM Japan or something like that. Bring them out the 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 Pontiac Storm, you know. But but uh, but after all, but but the main car would be the Trans Am, the Firebird introduced. It would be made in America. Being to say of all of these things, that I would say, bringing back the car. When you bringing back the car that is so brand that is just analyzed to say, make some noise. <laughs> But we, but before, after being, before making some noise, General Motors has to be, take over Zuzu is the first thing. And then look and focus in the market here, but just to consideration, the Trans Am will be the, will be the cream of the, of the crop will be the icing on the cake, the sherry on top of the cake to just bring back the car. And you bring back the car, remake of a movie. 
it is have GM and Universal working together, remake Smokey, and what else it, would, it could be? It would be like you have something in one of these days when they bring back the Pontiac brand, you could you could say all about it, and and this guy was like, oh, I was trying to do a southern accent, or uh, you 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 know you were talking about Henry Cavall trying to do a southern accent, and 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 looking at uh, Burt Reynolds playing the character that is playing in the Smoking the Bandit remake to the original. And Emma Stone with Sally, talking talking about Sally Fields and other stuff, and Bert and, and and John Goodman, Jackie Gleason, and or or or, or some sort of stuff, saying that the that if the one reason making some noise is the ready made noise for the ready made noise with the tour with the tourists on RoboCop. All right, so. Uh, Pontiac make noise with the Trans Am remaking Smoke and Abandoned to be starring Henry Cavall as the bandit and I believe this bringing back the Pontiac Trans Am that's the first car that it comes to mind and doing anything under the sun if GM could acquire 100% of the Azuzu brand. So just, just to turn it into GM Japan, only to have some models of the Pontiac equivalent to what Buick is doing in China. Just to have the car, the Pontiac brand, would be sold here in America very well to saying in two countries in the other side of the world, Selling Buick and Pontiac, Buick in one country, Pontiac in another country, and just having everything balanced, and to have the Trans Am in a movie. I mean, having Henry Cavall playing Burt Reynolds' character. I mean, it would be awesome. It would be like that, and that's a way to make noise, making noise to bring back the Pontiac brand. It's just, it, it would just take one movie. It will take one one movie, and that movie will be Smoking a Bandit to be remade. The plot changes, everything under the sun goes very well, and you see the brand doing very well right here in the USA. I mean, so write me a comment what do you think of all this i think this video has been in 30 minutes long or, or however it is but see you in the next video on embargo man i would say goodbye peace out and probably let's see being uh, east bound east bound and down <laughs> being remade again here in the on the smoking the bandit remake i would say bringing back the pontiac brand you know you know car and driver you're calling on universal you're calling on on gm and all what it takes gm should acquire all of the azuzu property and called gm japan but most likely is all to have the pontiac brand to be the have though just like having Buick in China, Pontiac brand in one in, in that part of the world, and in here to be sold, but the only cream of the crop to be sold here very well will be the Trans Am on the Smoking the Banner remake. Let a British guy take over Henry Cavall, the guy who played Superman, and Snowman would be played by the guy who played Chow. In the Hangover movies. Peace out. Take, man, take care. Goodbye. And please don't forget to ring the bell. See you soon on the next video on Embargo Man. Peace out.